Hi, it's Ian from Off Grid with Penny Glare Homestead. So hi to everybody. Uh, it's raining, I've got if you can hear the rain. It's late at night, it's about two o'clock in the morning. Um, me and Kev's not been so good as you know, we've had this bug. Plus we've had the mice all over the place. We've had an infestation of mice. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. We've had an infestation of mice. Um, it started a few, good about two or three weeks ago. I saw just a tiny, tiny bit of droppings, only a few. Anyway, I kept putting the traps down. I caught eight dinner altogether, eight. So I think there was on one of the top shelves at the back and there was coming down to where the food was and then, well, not where the food was, where I prepare the food. So I set all the traps, like I said, but I think there's one or two left. I th there's at least one left anyway. So I've put the traps down at the back of the washer and stuff in case they're getting in down in the corner or all like that. Uh, so as you know, we weren't well, we think it was the mice droppings and the wee off the mice and stuff that were making us well. You're right, Bramby. She's our Bramble, obviously. She wants to be on film. So, so we've not done a lot, obviously, because we weren't so good. So I've had about three week off. We're not being so good with the channels. I am sorry for that, but I've just not felt strong enough. Uh, we have done a few jobs, not much, as you'll see with the video. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get back to doing filming this week. Now, what we have done is first of all let me think what have we done all right first of all where kev's bedroom is down the corridor this is kev's proper first winter here and he's found it cold in that bedroom right because there's no heater because i've got a panel heater on the wall but if i turn that on with being electric it just drains these bluettes within a couple of minutes 20 minutes something like that depending on what i have powered on it with it so we don't use the electric heater in there so there's no heating at all in there so what we have been doing yes bramble what we have been doing is i've been lighting the fire in the middle of the room there leaving his corridor door open and hoping the heat goes down now a bit of the heat has been going down but not much so it's doing tap tap sure he does this with a hands tap tap with a pause tap tap so so not much heat's been going down so so I had to think of a way around this problem. So then I got thinking about uh, what we used to have in the old days, the bupane gas buckles with them little heaters, upright heaters on the floor with the four bars or three bars on the front. So, so I got thinking about that. So I told Kev all that way, thought it was a great idea that that did. That did. So we went on onto Amazon, um, we bought two of the fires one to go down at the bottom uh, we also got a company to come out and deliver some buckles plus we got another big propane buckle as well uh, but we got stung because we had to pay the hand handling charge for holding the bottle so that kind of cost as well 30 odd quid extra for the bottles on top so so then the propane bottle he said to me oh he said uh, have you got an empty bottle for that I says oh I've got some empty bottles so when he come I didn't realise, and I didn't realise, these bottles that were coming were colour gas bottles, and the ones I had were MagSafe, I think, something like that, that they were called. So they wouldn't accept it. And I said, well, yeah, they take the bottle or you don't. So he just said, oh, we'll leave the bottle, we'll be right, you'll be getting more off us. So we dropped lucky with that, otherwise we'd have to pay another 30 odd quid on top. Yes, Bramble, I know, I know. So what I've done is I took some photos of Kev because neither of us wanted to be on camera doing filming really, we're being rough. So this video is full of photos unfortunately. But next week I will get back into proper doing videos like I wanted to. I've got the uh, Final Cut Pro software now so I'm, gonna, I'll, I'm trying to learn on the net how to use that. So the videos hopefully will come across better as well. So that will be starting soon. Um, so I'm going to add the photos of this fire and putting it together. Okay, so I'll add them now. So they're the fires, so he's got one in his bedroom and then there's one down in the lounge area down at the bottom because there's no uh, fire down there. 
So it's nice and warm out everywhere now with this fire in here and obviously the big log burner. Now some more news, right? We're going to do a, a DIY Kev section in a minute, so get ready for that, because you know what he's like with his DIY. Now the fire, the range cooker we have in here, right, I've had a problem. The oven part, the roof on the oven has collapsed and it's a big gaping hole at the top. Now the reason for that, which I didn't realise, I didn't realise water was running on the inside of the pipe getting into the fire and then it was dripping when it was hot on the top of the oven roof and it just dissolved the oven roof, the uh, yeah, the iron roof, cast iron roof. Now the reason for that is, cut a long story short, we've got another fire anyway. So that came the other day, so I'll add some photos of that in a minute. So we've got another range cooker, exactly the same, because they're a really good fire. So when I went up on the roof to take the chimney down, on the roof, the pipe, then what happened was we've got a black pipe. If you notice on the video, beginning, beginning of this video, there's a picture of the cabin, and there's a big section that's a black piece of piping that sticks up. Well, the water was off the rain, was running down that, and it was going on the inside of the pipe and running down. So what I've done is I've took that top piece off anyway, and put the chimney top on top of that so so now there shouldn't be any issues at all with that now we've had a bit of rain and so far we've had no dripping come through so i'm happy with that so what i'm going to do is the fire came so i'll show you pictures of the fire that come and then i'll show you with the fire in place we've had it lit for the last few nights it's absolutely lovely i made pine peas tonight for our tea and it, and it would be really nice actually so i'll have them photos now Now what we've been doing is in the last few days we have in the pantry we've had a fridge and a freezer well a fridge freezer and a freezer I should say so we pulled them out and we put them down there now what we're going to do is we're going to redo the kitchen in here redo it all together rebuild it now it's not going to be all spectacular because it's going to be a mix and match worktop colours because we're just using what stuff we've got so it's only me and Kev that's in here, so it don't matter, does it? It doesn't have to be out spectacular. So I've put the fridge and the freezer down there. Now Kev's bought a new freezer, chest freezer, that's coming this Friday. So we're going to put that in. So that small upright freezer, that's going to come out and go in storage. And then we're going to put the chest freezer down at the bottom in that corner there. And then we're going to have a worktop that comes across this room here. Instead of the way it is going down wise. And we're gonna it's gonna be a lot better it's gonna be a lot better i'm gonna have more work top i'm gonna have a little hob on top i'm gonna have an, a gas cooker in that corner as well so i'll be able to do loads of baking and cooking and stuff like that so i'll do some of them on the channel as well some baking and cooking so that'd be good i've had people ask me to do that so i'm gonna do that So now, we're getting to the end of the video and we're doing the DIY Kev section. Now everybody loves a DIY Kev, right? I'll tell you the story, right? If you go in the other room, the uh, middle room, there's a double set of doors going down into the lounge, isn't there? Well, them double doors, I was finding that they, it weren't snagging the lock on it. Well, it's not a lock, it's just when I leave locks, if you know what I mean. It weren't snagging in properly. So if I didn't keep an eye on the dogs, I'd slope down. Now, honestly, they slide down the dogs and eat the cat food. Now, bear in mind, the cats actually eat tin dog food, right? Because you can feed cats tin dog food, but you can't feed dogs cat food, right? So the dogs, the cats get fed cat food. Uh, Golden belly, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? The cats get fed, fed tinned dog food and they also have proper cat biscuits as well right so i need that door fixing right right so what i said to kev was open the door and where the fitting is inside just unscrew it take it out and then just chisel it down and then put it back in screw it in the door will fit perfect right? <laughs> 
I can't help but laugh I know what's coming next, right? I'm going to show you this KR DIY Kev that he's done, right? Honestly, it's piss funny. And you shouldn't swear, I know I shouldn't, but honestly, right, I'm going to add the photos now. Now, in all fairness, in all fairness, he got the job done. He's done a good job. He might have been fluky, did a good job, but he got it done in the end, bless him. So, well done, Kev. Now, I'm going to get off. Now, I'll see you all in the next video. And you look after yourself. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time. Back down at the cabin. And don't forget, dinky-do. Stay safe, stay well.